Chief Meteorologist Tom Coombs here to talk to you about the Global Climate Report published by NOAA just this week on Thursday. And it should come as no surprise that 2020 was one of the warmest years on record. What the real surprise is, it was nearly the warmest in a La Nina cycle. And typically during La Nina, the globe, the Earth, is typically in a cooler cycle. So in what is typically known to be a cooler cycle year, we had almost the warmest year on record, topping a La Nina year from 2016. That's what's really raising the alarm. Also, we've pushed out any 90s as far as the warmest year, years on record. All of the warmest years have come since the year 2000. And that's what you're going to expect in the future. If you're putting money down year after year, it's going to be warmer as we continue to put a lot of carbon into the atmosphere, the warming is not slowing down. If anything, it continues to speed up. 2020, nearly, nearly the warmest year on record. It was very close neck and neck. And if you look at the climate record, long-term climate record, we are really spiking here over the last 20 years, since 2000. You can see it's not just, oh, we're just a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer. We are starting to spike off this chart. And that's also a sign that we're seeing the acceleration of the warming. So I know it was a pandemic year. You think, well, maybe things slowed down a little bit. And it really didn't. We got to handle the pandemic. I know that's the top first concern, getting things back, back in order. But if we learn anything from the pandemic, it's that... Well, it took a year to develop a vaccine, and it's going to take a little while to distribute the vaccine and trying to get back to that normal. Well, think about that with climate. It's not exactly the same, but there is no flipping a switch to right back to normal. It's going to take a lot of adjustment and work to try and get things back to a new normal or a sustainable range. We are, this is not sustainable, continuing to get this warming trend. And as we told you locally, this isn't just a, a faraway issue. Yes, it's the whole world. But locally, we had one of our warmest years on record. Nationally, we had one of our warmest years on record. And here we are in a new year, 2021. And so far, 12 of 14 days have been above at or above freezing last January, one of the warmest on records. And guess what? There's not a lot of snow either. Significant and most likely the trend that we're going to continue to see. Let me show you the, let me show you the report. Uh, again, this will be shared in the article, but uh, uh, same chart here. A lot of highlights, a lot to kind of scroll through, but I found this interesting. Um, as far as the Northern Hemisphere, this was the warmest year on record. So if it wasn't for slightly cooler temperatures in the ocean across the Southern Hemisphere, this would have been the warmest year on record. Significant, significant stuff. And again, still highlighting year after year. If this were somewhat random or warming wasn't happening, you'd have a mixture of years dating back farther into the past. But we are lumping almost Every year is warmer than the year before it, and that is significant. And it's going to be something you're going to hear as we start a new administration about climate policy. And it's important to stay engaged and to know that, yes, this is an issue that affects us all. It's happening now, and it's only likely to get worse as we go into the future.